I just arrived here at our latest project. There's no equipment, no nothing out yet. They just got it fenced off, but this is gonna be an apartment complex. So I'm here a little early, a few weeks actually. I'm gonna get a nice survey with the drone, scout it out, see what it's about, see how big the lot is, all that stuff from above, as well as just to showcase to you guys what we do from a before perspective all the way to an after perspective. So this one's gonna be really fun to just get a really nice before and after to show you just the blank, bare bones lot with, I mean, one tree on it, a bunch of weeds, dirt, gravel piles. So let me go ahead and grab the drone out of here and I'll go ahead and get this recorded for you guys. Just started up the app, got the drone out here ready to go. Like I said before, I'm gonna give you guys a nice little showcase of this lot over here. Pretty excited. It's gonna be a fun video to showcase for you guys. Ladies and gents, all right, we're looking at a potential project we have coming up. That's a apartment complex, about 6,700 square feet. Grade beams on a pier system. <clears throat> the piers are going to be 60 feet deep, 18 inches in diameter. That's going to present a problem in itself because the engineer is going to want us to reach down and pour our concrete no more than about five feet off the bottom of those piers. So we're going to have to come up with a tactic on how to place that. You're looking at just the basic dirt filled here what it's going to look like or what it does look like here you go we got some grade beams going on right now uh, quite extensive amount of rebar in this here package deal we're on it about two weeks and we're pretty close to schedule we've had a couple of schedule hiccups just because of that snowstorm that just came through a few days ago dumped about 10 to 12 inches on us and then we've had some engineer changes throughout the process that's kicked us back a few more days so this project should take us about two and a half weeks mm, that's about we'll probably run about three or four days over just because of the hiccups. We got our blankets set out throughout the project so that if we get some more weather, we can throw those over the walls to keep snow from getting down inside of the walls and then basically you can't pour until that's melted or you figure out a way to get it out of there, which there is no way to get it out once it's in there and it's uh, maintaining about 30 degrees. So yeah, so you need the blankets there to make sure you keep that snow out of there. We got all the piers in under our grade beams here and like I was saying earlier, they're about 60 feet deep. Yeah, that was kind of a bear putting those in. We got the guys right now walking around getting all the rebar in, cleaning up. The other problem with snow is you get a lot of rebar that's buried under the snow, so the guys kind of locate it and find it and then clean up the snow as they go. We're running about four foot high on our grade beams. Um, they change in thickness from 12 inches to 8 inches, depending on the wall and the layout. We're about two and a half weeks... Three weeks is scheduled to start to finish on this job. And, and we should, for our schedule, we should be there without some weather hiccups. Um, yeah, as you can see there, we got four number fives on the top. This thing's got, it is quite extensive on the rebar. So this is a not your average rebar job. So obviously that drives the cost up. And the more rebar work you got, because the more time you got into it, the more material you got into it. The thicker the walls are so basically when we pour this we got the L's that are kicking over because once we pour the walls and they're, they're gonna have to back the GC is gonna have to backfill all that and put all their plumbing in and then we're gonna come back in and we have a structural floor that's going on and all those L's those number fours you're looking at that are bent over they're considered L's they will go into the floor of the structural floor of the building so We'll have to pour all those out. So what we got left on this project is the structural floor. We've got to come back, <clears throat> um, curb and gutters, sidewalk. Um, we got some columns and piers we got to put in. And we may end up pumping the second story floor and third story floor with lightweight concrete. We got a little bit more to do on this job. Oh, and there's a retaining wall somewhere about right in this area too that we got to put in. Um, for transit grade transition so yeah so we got a few more things coming up on this project we'll be filming it as we go and you guys will kind of see from start to finish on this thing all right gold out